the former Belgian Prime Minister appeared to sound as if he relished the prospect of having a UK administration that was more likely to agree to a softer, or even no, Brexit. He is chief Brexit negotiator at the European Parliament, which will have a vote on the outcome of Britain's talks with Brussels. Asked what would happen if MEPs or British MPs voted down the deal, he said, Then there is Brexit on the 29th of March, next year, without any arrangements. But I presume if that is happening, for example, the UK Parliament voting down the deal, there will be, I presume, a crisis in British politics. Related articles Scottish Tory leader sets the record straight on Brexit negotiations Hordes of Remainers plead with Verhofstadt to stop Brexit extremists. It's not acceptable for us that rules will continue without change for financial services, for goods for whatever other business and only for the citizens their situation will change. Guy Verhofstadt I presume maybe an election. Maybe after that election a new government, and maybe a new position of that new government on Brexit. That's unknown territory. Interviewed for BBC One's Andrew Marr Show he said the European Parliament was very worried about citizens' rights. Mrs. May wants EU nationals who arrive in the UK during the two year transition she wants after Britain officially leaves next March, not to have the same automatic residency rights as those enjoyed under free movement rules by those who came not knowing Britain was leaving the bloc. Mr. Verhofstadt insisted transition meant continuing existing rules in every policy area. It's not acceptable for us that rules will continue without change for financial services, for goods, for whatever other business and only for the citizens their situation will change, he said. That is penalizing citizens. Warning Britain could not cherry pick the things it wanted, he warned the City of London could not expect a special deal that would let it compete unfairly with continental rivals. He predicted that it would not be possible to conclude a legally binding deal on future relations in time for Britain's departure in March next year. The EU and UK are to agree next month on the terms of the transition period lasting about two years, and will then move on to trade talks. Mr. Verhofstadt forecast that only a political declaration describing the future relationship was possible by next March. Then we will use the transition period to clarify this political declaration in an international agreement. British talks on the transition period are due to resume in Brussels today, Monday. Related articles Farming will continue to be a cornerstone of the economy post Brexit. Astute May is hitting right note on Europe, express comment free movement must continue in transition, says Verhofstadt.